Welcome to my sewing studio. So this dress form was passed down to me by my grandmother. She died in December of 2016 and that Christmas my aunt gave it to me from her. Um, my grandmother used to sew when she lived in Panama. She used to sew all of her clothes and all the clothes for her kids. So it means a lot to me so I put it on the door of my sewing studio. So we're gonna go over here to my sewing station. This is where I house most of my machines. My main one being my brother product runway machine. It has like 80 different stitches. And then my serger is the brother 1034D. I have it right next to it so that, you know, I can just slide back and forth between these machines because I use these both the most. And then this machine here is my brother cover stitch machine. It's the 2340CV. And then this machine here is an old Singer that my mom gave me that she had in her basement. I use this machine to make things like jeans and sew over um, lots of layers. And this is really like a strong, strong workhorse. This is one of those made with metal. And so I keep these three machines covered up because I don't use them as much, but my main one I use all the time. And I have a Sew Steady extension table on this machine so that I can uh, sew ergonomically. And I got the Sew Steady extension table from their website. I got it for uh, a Christmas one time. The tables that I got are from Amazon. I had to make sure that I could get a table that was wide enough because the extension table is so wide. I just had to make sure that I got some tables to fit. So these are from Amazon and everything that I'm gonna talk about today, um, I'm gonna link where I got it from below in the description box. I have a lamp here for when it's late and I gotta sew. And then these chairs, I also got from Amazon. I love the way that they feel, um, they're very comfortable and it's easy to slide in the fourth, especially with the wood floors. So these are some peg boards that I got from Amazon. These are four different ones and they're four of the same peg board, but they're separate. I just screwed them close together. So this side I have all of the tools that I need close while I'm sewing, so I have my little snippers down here, um, my duckbill, um, my duckbill scissors, all these little tools like my sewing gauges and some little markers, little things that I need while I'm at my sewing machine. And I have here all of the sewing feet that I need for my main machine. I have some clips here and then I have my labels in this one and some patches. Um, that I was gifted, and then I have some more labels. Here's some Vogue ones, some McCall's. Um, I have one from Mood, I have some from the Stitch Collective. So <clears throat> I need all of these close when I'm sewing, and then here's my pin bracelet. And then on this pegboard here, I have all of my rulers and things because I don't need them necessarily while I'm sewing, but I use them when I'm cutting different patterns and things. I have all of like my pins and some some um, erasable pens for when I needed to make pattern adjustments and things like that. And then I have my pattern weights here, some more pattern weights, and then just different tapes for pattern adjustments. And down here I have a, a bin of all of my scraps from when I'm done cutting my fabric. And up here I have this sewing machine cloth that I found on Amazon. And on this side of the wall, I have my thread. And this is the thread that I use the most. And then these are all of my serger threads. I got this thread holder from Amazon and I got this thread holder from Joann's. And then if I feel like I don't have the color that I need from this wall here, then I try to pull it from this Zetterman uh, spinny thing here. <laughs> So here is my sewing table. 
I believe it's a Sullivan's. But this one is adjustable. I have it as tall as possible because the one I had before had me like hunched over and I thought I was going to be the new hunchback in Notre Dame. So I got this one instead and I like this one has like two shelves on it. And these shelves are where I put my um, project that I'm working on, like that I'm in the middle of that I haven't finished yet. So I like that I have a place for, to put those. And then under this actual cutting mat I got from Joann's. And then underneath the cutting mat, I have like an ironing mat, an ironing cover, and I got, it's a Sullivan's ironing cover, and I got that from Hancock when it was open, but I can find a link for it somewhere else, and that'll be in the description box as well. And here also, I have a, a little caddy. And in this caddy, I put things that I need either close to my sewing machine or close to my sewing table. So I have like needles, I have my bobbins, other like items for hand sewing, um, safety pins and things for when I need to put uh, maybe like elastic in somewhere. And then the second shelf, this is like kind of like the ironing shelf. And I have like an ironing uh, gauge type thing, my sleeve ham, my ham. I have my pressing cloth and also my um, tailor board here. And then I have uh, like a Teflon cover for my iron as well. And then I use this water bottle to refill the water to refill my iron. And then on all the way to the bottom, I have some tube turners and then these other little knickknacks that I need. So like wax paper and things like that that I need at the cutting board. And so I have this really close to me. It rolls and everything and I love it here. And the most exciting part of the room over here is my fabric shelf. And it's a five by five shelf from Ikea. It's white, but I got some contact paper from Amazon that kind of fit the tabletops. So I put, well, I didn't put it. My cousin and my mentee put the contact paper that matched the tabletops on top of this shelf so that the decor kind of had continuity around the room. And the fabric is organized by type. And then on top of here, you can see it says so much fabric, so little time. I love that little detail. I got that. I'll link it in the description. And in this cubby, I have a basket that houses like all of the products I'm working on, all my works in progress. So I have patterns that I want to work on in here and then actual projects that I haven't finished yet. So that's what goes in here. And then this is my dress form. It's a size 12 dress form. We don't really, we're not really the same measurements anymore as when I first got her. <laughs> but, um, cause my bust is way bigger than hers. And you know, my waist is a little bigger than hers <laughs> now. But you know what I'm saying? We're still a little twinsies, you know? <laughs> I'm working my way back down to match her. Um, but yes, I got this dress form from the shop company. Um, very, very, very great quality um, dress forms and it's pinnable and these sleeves collapse and they have um, other ones on their website where you can add in uh, actual arms and or detachable arms and they have other men and children dress forms. I'll link that below. Um, over here is my couch for when guests want to come and hang out with me in my sewing room. That's actually why I have another uh, chair over by my sewing station so that when people want to come sew, they can bring their machines, set it up on the table and hang out with me, which has happened before. Like my aunts have come and like different family members and come and hang out with me. So this chair is for that as well. People just want to sit and hang out. And then here is like my picture wall. Uh, my different sewing friends that I've met online, and there's actually a lot of pictures missing from uh, 2020 and some, there's some more pictures that are going to be added up here, but I love it because I have pictures from like the first meetup that I organized, the first and second meetup meet I organized, and then when I went to Philly to meet some friends, and here when I went to Vegas, and then this is like my name tag from DC Frogtails from 2020. So um, I love looking at this and it reminds me how big the sewing community is and how generous and friendly they are. So I can't wait to add more pictures on here and meet more of you.
This here is my uh, board of cutting reminders. I don't remember where I got this board. I got it from my mom when I was younger. And it's just a dry erase board and I like to use it to make sure that I don't forget different pattern adjustments that I need to make, the different notions that I need, um, the different steps, just different steps that I need to take to finish the garment because a lot of times when I'm sewing, I'll start something and then won't finish it right away and when I come back, I don't remember what I did and I'll skip things and then be mad at the end. So that's what this board is for, just for reminders. And I have my TV here so that um, while I'm cutting a lot of times, I like to watch different tutorials if I'm doing something new and I just play them on here or just like have noise in the background while I'm sewing. Mm -hmm. And this here is my pattern cabinet. And this pattern cabinet I got off Craigslist. I actually have a whole video on this cabinet and its transformation and you can watch that video here. I'm not gonna go too far into it, but this is my pattern cabinet. Go watch that video to see how different it looks now and how I was able to organize it. And this shelf here, I feel like I need it just to uh, organize things a bit more. I got this shelf from Amazon and it's um, <laughs> quite a confusing configuration and you definitely need at least three people to put this up not two if you get this shelf you need more than two people to put this shelf up because you need eight like eight hands six will do um, but you need more than two people otherwise you're gonna have some pulling off the wall and stuff just trust me when I say but it's a really cool looking shelf and it matches the decor of the sewing room just like I put the contact paper on the pattern cabinet as well as the fabric shelf this is giving the same vibe and I love the continuity I have camera equipment here I have some uh, fitting books here and some technique books um, these are where I have all of my sewn magazines I actually have all of them from the inception of the magazine and wouldn't you know <laughs> your girl is in one of these magazines you see here I was in a sewn magazine, I'm very, very proud of this moment. Um, shout out to Michelle for the opportunity. But that was a very cool experience and I'm really excited about the opportunity. Put that back in the spot. And I have some fabric markers up there and just a little plant from Home and Good, you know what I'm saying? Just, just give it a little nature. Mm -hmm. um, so over here I have my garment hanger. And this is kind of where I house different products that I'm still working on, like this coat. And I have, these are patterns that I cut out, but I haven't cut out the fabric yet. And just other things that I need to make adjustments to, like for example, this top, the elastic uh, opened up and so I have to fix the elastic on this top. So this is where these things go. And this is like my little sleeve board for when I need to do like quick ironing on the table. And here is my ironing board. It's an extra large ironing board. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond um, from my home registry. So yeah, it's really, really big. I use it for the sewing and just for my regular clothes. So it's the only ironing board I have. <laughs> and then this, I house my iron up here just to keep it close. And it's a Maytag. Um, I'll link it below. I don't know. I can't say what the specifications are right now, but like, the top here removes for you to like fill up with water and you can steam and a lot of fancy things go along with the iron. And I have my mirror here for when I'm like doing fitting and you know checking the way that the garments fit, like I said already. Um, <laughs> so that's here from that, it's from Walmart. Um, so we can go into my closet. In this closet, I have uh, lots of notions and more remnants and fabric and things like that. So on this shelf is where I have more sewing books. And then these three uh, cubby drawers are filled with remnants and just smaller yards of fabric. A lot of these remnants I get from Joann's. Um, I just, I'm a really a stickler for rummaging, rummaging the remnant bin when I go there. And so I have tons and tons of remnants from there. 
And then I have a little caddy here. And this is where I have my PDF patterns that I printed out um, at Kinko's. I just roll them up and put them back in the bags. And they're here. And then I also have interfacing and this is some tool. And so I keep all of my big rolls and big bolts of stuff in this rolling caddy. And then down there is bags of interfacing as well. And these are just uh, my tripods for my cameras. And then these bins are full of fabric. As you can see, they're labeled. This is lining fabrics. This is a blanket fabric and poyeta fabric, which is like a type of fabric from Panama that they used to make the traditional poyeta dresses. I have a, this is unique outerwear because there's like furs and stuff in here. And then I don't actually remember what's on the bottom. I'm not about to check, so don't worry about it. And then this bin here is full of like <laughs> bags for holidays and Christmas and birthdays. And then this one down here is just like different. Um, this one down here is more fabric, miscellaneous. And then down there is just more crafting stuff. And then up here is my more little caddy drawers that I had from my first sewing room ever when I was at my mom's house. And so they're all labeled. This is like paints and crafting things. These are closures, so like zippers, buttons, snaps and things. This is decorative trims and notions. And then there's more serge thread. And then up there is like miscellaneous like bra cups and like shoulder pads and things like that. <laughs> And then in this little thing here is like all of my camera accessories, uh, my ba extra batteries and lenses and things, SD cards. This basket is for uh, gifts that I buy through buy throughout the year that I want to give to people. And then this is my sewing machine case. This one was actually gifted to me by Michelle, who started sewing magazine. And then I have uh, two more cases in here. And then these are my camera cases. And then I have some microphones here because I'm really big into karaoke. I know that has nothing to do with sewing, but it's a big part of my life. <laughs> and um, this is actually another machine. This is an Elna machine that uh, lives in its case right now because I got it off Craigslist, but I never actually used it. I just really wanted another machine just in case anything happened to all of my other machines. I would have an extra one. So this is what the closet looks like. This is like stuff that needs to get done different repairs and things with this box. It's been following me for the past like six, five years or so. <laughs> I just haven't gotten to it yet. And so yeah. It's time for me to start creating now. You guys gotta go. Bye.